What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Here, continuing the Doctor Do guide on how to do a secure GPG setup and link that to a UB key. Uh, and today, we are going to verify if the keys that we have generated are actually secure, and we are going to back it up uh, on a secure and encrypted USB disk uh, or USB drive. Uh, so first, we have generated four different keys: uh, the master key. Uh, which is the certificate usage, uh, and then three different sub keys, uh, each of them being expiring here in one year, um, which is the signing, the encrypting, and the authentication sub key. And these sub keys are made for key rotation. Uh, so they will be on a new Yubi key every year uh, so that we will have a secure and rotating password setup. However, they will all be authenticated uh, by this long term master key. Uh, so this long-term master key uh, can be somewhat compared to your long-term hierarchical deterministic Bitcoin seed. So you will want to uh, have a secure and encrypted backup, just like you would have a secure and, and encrypted backup of your long-term Bitcoin hodlings. Uh, so we will really need to be careful. And this is somewhat of a tedious setup, uh, but make sure that you go through this setup several times. Uh, and it is very well documented. And what I'm doing here is only a somewhat guided uh, reading. Uh, so focus very much on what is written here, uh, and it can be easily accessible um, if you go through it and take your time. Uh, so first, we have to verify the keys, again, after we save here uh, this setup. Uh, with GPG, list secret keys, uh, and it will list all the secret keys in our temporary tails distribution, which are exactly the same uh, for RSA keys, which we can see here with the exact same uh, key IDs uh, as are up here in the same four uh, keys. So that is awesome. Uh, and we can now also export this key ID um, to, the, to the current whole key uh, position. And further, when we want to export that, uh, we can actually export it as a clear text with this really convenient armor flag, uh, which will create or which will import or export uh, the GPG commands in clear text directly in the console. Really, really useful. Uh, so when we do GPG armor and then export the secret keys uh, of the key ID, of the master key ID uh, that we generated up there, um, to the uh, GNU home master sub key ring. Um, so then we will have here the GNU PG home uh, directory, which we will later then unmount to the backup uh, display. We will have or this backup stick. We will now generate this and put the master key and all the sub keys on there. Uh, that's how you would do it on Windows, but no, we do it on Tails. Never, never do such a setup on Windows. Why would you? Oh God! <laughs> and now, really important, we want to back up these keys. Okay. Again, a bit of tedious, but go through uh, the setup step by step. Uh, so make sure that you have a couple uh, good USB sticks, uh, and we will uh, completely delete all the content on them and encrypt them. Uh, so make sure that you have a secure password generated on a Diceware list uh, next to you. Uh, so at least six, uh, maybe 12 words uh, of a secure password uh, generated with, a, with random numbers, with dice or something. Uh, so make sure you have that. Uh, first, uh, we want to attach the USB st uh, stick and check the label with the sudo uh, DMESG uh, of the tail uh, right here. And you will see that in one of these, uh, one of these right here, you will see your uh, USB stick. Uh, and also check the size to make sure that it is the right device. Okay, so here this SDE uh, with sudo fdisk list, you will see that it is the correct um, USB stick, hopefully. And then you will know that we are looking for the def uh, SDE1 um, mount right here for the USB stick for the backup. Um, so we will erase uh, everything on here and create a new partition with the command sudo fdisk of then the mount of the USB stick. And then we are here in fdisk and with the command O, uh, we will create a new um, disk label uh, with this identifier right here. Uh, and yes, we want to do this. And the partition will then be formatted here with, F, with fdisk right here. Uh, with the command N uh, and the partition type, we can choose P uh, with a partition number of one. So only one partition uh, with everything here being in the first sector and the last sector. Um, and we forward this with the command W uh, when you're prompted. Uh, and this partition then has already been uh, altered. 
uh, and you're syncing to disk and that's pretty much it. And now we can use looks to encrypt this new partition, the one partition which we have just created. Uh, so this will be your password uh, that you will have generated on the secure dice, uh, diceware framework, uh, which we've discussed elsewhere. Uh, so make sure that you have this here with you. And now with uh, sudo crypto setup looks format in the mount SDE1 or whatever is uh, corresponding to your USB stick. And then yes, you want to encrypt this. And now enter the really secure passphrase. Make sure you back it up, okay, beforehand. Make sure you have a, a, a paper backup uh, and uh, that is really, really important. Maybe even etch it on steel. steel. Again, this is as important as your long-term Bitcoin setup. This is your digital identity and you must not lose this backup. After you have done this, mount the partition. And now every time that you will mount the partition or mount the USB stick with sudo crypto setup looks open uh, of this uh, USB stick with USB, then you will have to enter the passphrase okay, that you will have specified right here. Uh, and now we can, being mounted, create a file system with sudo make file system of extension 4 uh, to hear the mapper of USB. Uh, and everything here will be done uh, automatically, uh, which is nice. Uh, now we can mount the file system and copy the temporary GNU PG directory. Okay, so what we do now is we will copy the GNU PG directory, which we have uh, done right here. Uh, right, we've done right here. We've exported our keys to this temporary GNU, uh, GNU PG home directory. So now we will copy this onto the USB stick. Uh, which is quite nice. Uh, so we will first make a directory uh, called a uh, encrypted USB. Then we will mount uh, our USB stick, the backup USB stick onto this directory, this repository called encrypted USB. And then we will CP the ABI command, uh, which means to copy uh, the GNU home uh, path to this encrypted USB. Okay, so this will copy all the keys onto this mounted and encrypted partition. Um, and keep it mounted for now, right? Uh, and now we will then later delete uh, all this, uh, the local copy, okay? Um, with key to card later on the YubiKey. Uh, so for now, unmount the partition and uh, sudo crypto setup uh, looks close to USB. Uh, so make sure that everything is well encrypted and now you have exported uh, your uh, keys to the USB stick. However, we will still have to do some stuff here with OpenBSD, uh, some more setups, again, a bit tedious, but this is how it is done right. Uh, so attach again your USB stick uh, and determine its label. Uh, so this would be the direct message grab uh, with the SD and AT. Uh, uh, and you will then here see that it is the USB stick that you're looking for. <laughs> and print uh, all the partitions with do as disk label of here this s 2 partition. Um, uh, so here, follow all these commands here for the uh, open BD, uh, BSD type uh, setup again. But uh, usually here, this looks partition should be uh, well enough. And now in the next setup, we will configure the YubiKey uh, and export all our sub keys to this YubiKey. Uh, but what we have for now is a secure backup um, of our, uh, uh, here on Linux, on Tails, of our uh, master key. Uh, and this is awesome because now we, uh, of the master and the sub keys, by the way. Uh, so now store this USB stick and the passphrase in a secure physical location. Right, you you should have a fire secure safe, um, uh, and a water, and maybe laminate the paper, or as I said, etch these etch the password into steel. Uh, this is really really important. Um, maybe you can even take the time uh, to type out uh, the ciphertext of uh, uh, of the public key here and the private key. Uh, that is really important, uh, maybe because then you will have an, another layer of recovery possibility. Again, these, this is your long-term digital identity and take good care of it. This is as important as it, is it, as it would be uh, for your Bitcoin private keys. So this is important, take your time with this. Uh, and for the next setup, then we will connect this all to our YubiKeys. Uh, but Pierce, until then, uh, thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.